Hello everyone. By the end of this video, you should be able to predict the relative lattice energies of various ionic compounds from periodic properties. As we discussed earlier, the lattice energy depends on the electrostatic force of attraction between a cation and an ion. Its magnitude therefore depends on the individual charges and the distance between them. According to Coulomb's law, the electrostatic energy between two charged particles is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the distance between them. That is, electrostatic energy E, in our case, this is equal to lattice energy, is directly proportional to Q1 times Q2 divided by R where Q1 and Q2 are the charges of cation and anion and R is the distance between them. In the earlier video, we have seen the following image of a crystal lattice. However, this is an oversimplified version of a crystal. In reality, the ionic crystal looks like the following. In a crystal lattice, the cations and anions are packed right next to each other. Therefore, the distance between them is equal to the sum of ionic radii of the cation and anion. According to the formula, lattice energy decreases when the distance between the cation and anion increases. In other words, smaller ions attract more strongly and release more energy when the lattice is formed compared to larger ions. Here I have an empty table of some cations and anions. Let us try to predict the lattice energies based on their sizes. We know that lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium and cesium all of them are in group 1. Meaning, down the group, the atomic radius, or in this case, the ionic radius, increases. Similarly, the anions fluoride, chloride, bromide, and iodide are all in same group, in group number 17 or 7a. And we know that, down the group, ionic radii increases. So, if we fix a cation as lithium and change the anions starting from fluoride to iodide, we can say that the distance between the cation and anion is increasing. And we know that from the formula, as the distance between the cation and anion increases, the lattice energy is supposed to decrease. And here are the values of lattice energy. As we have predicted, the lattice energy decreases with increasing distance. Similarly, if we fix the anion as fluoride and change the cation from lithium to sodium up to cesium, the ionic radii of the cations are increasing. In other words, the distance between the charges increases. Therefore, the lattice energy is supposed to decrease. And here are the values. As we can see, the lattice energy decreases starting from lithium to cesium, keeping the fluoride fixed. Here are the remaining values of lattice energy according to the prediction. According to the relationship, we can also say that the lattice energy increases when the charges increase. In other words, ions with greater charges attract each other more strongly and release more energy compared to the ions with smaller charges. Let us compare the lattice energy of two different ionic compounds, lithium fluoride and magnesium oxide. The ionic radii of the ions involved are the following. The ionic radii of lithium plus and F minus 
are 76 picometers and 133 picometers. So the distance between these two ions in an ionic crystal is 209 picometers. Similarly, the ionic radii of magnesium 2 plus is 72 picometers and O2 minus is 140 picometers. The distance between these two ions in the ionic crystal is 212 picometers. The distance between the individual ions in both the crystals is roughly the same. However, the product of the charges in case of lithium fluoride is 1 times 1 that is equals to 1. But in case of magnesium oxide, it is 2 times 2 that is equals to 4. So, in theory, the lattice energy of magnesium oxide should be 4 times as much as lithium fluoride. And in reality, it is the case. The lattice energy of lithium fluoride is approximately 1050 kilojoules per mole and for magnesium oxide it is 3900 kilojoules per mole. If we look at the formula, we are multiplying the charges and adding the ionic radii. Therefore, charges have greater effect on the lattice energy than that of ionic radii. Let us do an example problem. Arrange the following ionic compounds in the decreasing order of lattice energy. The ionic compounds given are ALN, LIF, MgO, MgCl2 and CSI. We know that there are two factors that influence the lattice energy. First, the charge on the cation and anion. Second, the sum of the ionic radii of cation and anion. We have learned earlier that the charges have greater effect on the lattice energy than that of ionic radii. Therefore, I will arrange these ionic compounds based on the charges first, that is, the greater the charges, the higher is the lattice energy. Later, for the compounds with same charges, I will arrange the ionic compounds based on the ionic radii, that is, larger the ionic radii, the smaller is the lattice energy. First, I will assign the charges on cations and anions for all the ionic compounds that are given. Aluminum belongs to group 3A, so it forms a 3 plus charge on the cation. Nitrogen belongs to group 5A, so it is 3 minus. Lithium, group 1A, plus 1. Fluorine, minus 1. Magnesium, 2 plus. Oxygen, 2 minus. Magnesium again, which is 2 plus, and Cl, which is minus 1. Cesium is plus 1, and iodine is minus 1. So first I arrange the ionic compounds with decreasing charges, therefore decreasing lattice energy. ALN followed by MgO followed by MgCl2 followed by CSI and LIF. Cesium iodide and lithium fluoride have same charges that is plus 1 on cation and minus 1 on anion. Therefore, the ionic radii determines which comes first. Li plus and Cs plus are in group 1a and Li plus is on the top and Cs plus is in the bottom. And we know that down the group ionic radii increases. Therefore, Cs plus is larger than lithium plus. Similarly, F minus and I minus are in group 17 or 7a. F minus is at the top of the group and I minus is at the bottom. And similarly, the ionic radii increases down the group, that is, I minus is larger than F minus. Therefore, we can say that the distance between cesium and I minus is larger than that of 
lithium plus and F minus. And we know that larger the distance between the ions, the smaller is the lattice energy. Therefore, lithium fluoride's lattice energy is greater than cesium iodide. So the final order is aluminum nitride greater than magnesium oxide greater than magnesium chloride followed by lithium fluoride and cesium iodide.